Let's talk about the social dilemma on Netflix. Obviously, Netflix created this documentary. And so don't be fooled. Netflix has an agenda, but I still think it was a great documentary to point out what really is happening. I own an ad agency and marketing company, and we love the data that Facebook gives us because we find out more information about the people we're trying to reach. And so a lot of the stuff in that movie I already know because, again, we have access to a lot of data, um, and we use AI to then present that data to people. But the kind of stuff that I do is actual helpful stuff that people need every day. And so it's useful information. It's not you know, trying to take advantage of anybody and manipulate anybody. It's literally trying to give them the best solution for whatever they're looking for. Uh, but not everyone um, is does it the right way or with integrity or honesty or with the right motives. Obviously, there's bad actors when it comes to marketing and advertising and getting things in front of you. But again, don't be fooled about what Netflix is trying to do, right? Netflix has an agenda and sure they want to expose social media, but think about it. When I was watching the film, I instantly saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, Netflix is a genius. They're a genius on doing this because they're harping on how the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and all these other ones are profiting off of ads, right? And so you're the product, you are the user in there and they're selling your data, your information to the highest bidder, right? And they're kind, they're optimizing, uh, spoiler alert, you know, they're optimizing and trying to figure out with supercomputers how to figure out your behaviors. In fact, they know you more than you know yourself. And by that, they're, they are taking information and content and presenting it to you to try to get you hooked on so you're there longer. Because the longer you're on those social medias, the more you're faced with ads within Facebook, Instagram, and Google, or whoever else makes more money. Because that's more ads that they're sending in front of your face. And so you're based off your behavior. They predict. They predict the kind of music you like. The, they predict the kind of videos you like, the kind of content you like. They're following you. They know everything. Everything's all integrated. Don't just think if you're not on Facebook, they're not following you. They're listening to you. They're hearing you. Their, their IP address is on you, so they know who's in a relationship with you, friendship or whatever it is. They know who's around you, right? They hear what you're saying, right? Um, and they're following you everywhere you go. So Think about how much power that is when it comes to the marketers. And so that being said, the agenda of, of Netflix is, hey, they're trying to sell ads to you. Well, if you look at Netflix, Netflix has no ads. They're not promoting anything. In fact, I think they only promote, obviously, within movies of or other shows within Netflix. But ultimately, you're not sp spending any money on ads. So you could binge watch without any commercials uh, with Netflix. And so Netflix is a ad-free platform and so they say shut off you know social media what that movie doesn't do is what do you do with that time they kind of hinted on it with some of their interviews but what do you do with the time that you don't spend on social media well netflix knows well then if i'm not gonna do any social media what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go watch movies right i'm gonna go binge on a show i'm gonna go and so instead of spending all your time and energy and optimizing your brain to always want to be on social media, hey, come over to us. We're commercial free. We're not selling your data. We're just a video or movie or a show platform. Come subscribe to us. Come to our solution. And then you don't have to worry about Big Brother trying to steal your information because you're not engaging in such a way that you would in social media. We're safe. So Netflix is very smart was trying to promote this video or this movie or this documentary because they want users to ultimately go use their platform, right? And ultimately, I think Netflix, um, YouTube, you know, and Hulu and all these other platforms out there are going to eventually overtake broadcasts. Eventually, just TV will never be the same, right? Cable news and all that will just be gone because they're so dominating um, the user experience, right? I mean, you see it, you know, YouTube is the second most used search engine uh, I forgot how many billion instances that they get per month on, on you know, YouTube. And so YouTube is going to dominate, right? And Netflix is trying to make the way up. And so don't be fooled with, you know, Netflix film in that they also have an agenda. They want you to look and watch and subscribe to them. Oh, man, I'm, I love Netflix because they always have these great documentaries to expose the bad people or the bad actors. And they didn't really say social media creators 
in of itself were bad actors because I think agree is like a lot of these people just get jobs and they're like, hey, figure out how to make more impressions, figure out how to get more likes, figure out how to get more, um, you know, user experiences and our better user experience and more people engaged. And so in itself, they're like, okay, let's figure that out. And they hire these tech guys from Silicon Valley to, to, to really how to we get into the psyche of the human being, which I mean, for me you know, as a marketer, I study that. I study human behavior, where to put the buttons, what colors they like, what images people respond to better, what taglines and headers are more um, optimized for cl- um, conversion or engagement, right? So I get it. That's that's part of marketing, right? We That's okay information, right? Because I'm trying to provide you information for my clients that could benefit you, right? And so all that's okay, but I think the ramifications of that is what we're seeing now, right? Hot suicide rates going up, um, you know, in, insecurity, depression, you know, all kinds of, you know, divorce rate, right? Uh, people having affairs and, and all kinds of different things that are happening, especially in our youth, that are detrimental to society and the human race. Forget Christianity or God or whatever. It's just the human race is destroying our ability to communicate, articulate, and engage with each other. Right, so much so, so much so that look at what we are today with this political storm, and it's because of social media. Right, they showed in this documentary; it's pretty cool how other countries use social media to create uprisings and and civil wars to overthrow governments. That's what's happening right now with social media. They're trying to censor the opposition. Right, they're trying to censor one party because they want this party to win, and that's why you get all these censorship with just targeting one party because they're trying to do it here. And obviously there's regulators and eventually I think social media is going to get regulated um, and, and they're going to keep them from doing that. But ultimately, that's what's happening right now. That like social media has the power to put in conspiracy, theory, conspiracy theories and good or right or wrong, but they, they literally polarize everything, right? A lot of propaganda is now emphasized and, and, and magnified because of social media. And it's and it is it's hard to know what's true. It it is. I I mean I feel like for me I had to do a really good job trying to get rid of the rhetoric out there. And you know back in the day YouTube you can find out information about anything without being filtered and without you know. But now you got everyone being an influencer and YouTube guy and whatever. And and it's hard to even know who's true who's right because then you know I'll post something and share something with my friend. Oh man read this and it sounds true. And then it gets debunked because they lied. And I'm like, oh crap. So I just stop sharing stuff because it's like man I don't I don't even know where this guy got his source so it's even hard to even find sources because sources are changing things redacting you know whatever this about there's all kinds of sources even they don't even know the truth right and so in this misinformation age this social media age i i really like the documentary and i think everyone should read or watch that documentary it's a really good documentary um but i i would say the solution is not let's jump on Netflix and just binge and, and, and spend all our time and energy in that because it's just entertainment. And nothing's wrong with entertainment. But if entertainment is all what you're doing, then you're missing the opportunity of life, of enjoying life, of enjoying an experience of abundant life, whether it's in business, family, single life, whatever it is, you're, you're missing the fullness of this life that has to come, that has for you. And so I would say what that documentary should have completed, uh, what, what should have uh, alluded to better and cl- more clear should have been, hey, how about you go do read a book? How about you go outside, go on a walk, go on a hike, go to the lake, go to the beach, you know, go outside. Like they should have had a little segment in that documentary. Like here's the better good. Here's a more excellent way. Here's a- another solution you can do with your time. Instead, they left it open handed or open ended. So because they're trying to because they know in your brain you just want to go get entertained again and then you'll be on Netflix watching the next thing, the next show, the next show, right? And so, again, I'm not saying that's wrong, but you're missing out in the abundant life, the great life that's out there. And if you have a family with kids, you're missing out on raising them and being in the moment. I got out of social media in the sense of Facebook. I got out of it because... It, I, 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 I was, my eyes were opened a long time ago and me being a marketer, I understand it. And if you find in that video that even people who are creating these applications and systems, knowing what they're doing, then themselves were addicted. And that's when they say, oh my gosh, right? And so for me, I use Instagram because I feel like Instagram is less drama. It's easy to, to, to just shut it off for me. Like I literally post stuff in there because I like using it for like a, a yearbook, right? It's a great tool for me. I use it as a tool. I, I literally upload some photos and I delete the app from my phone because 
I see the addiction of wanting to go on, on the on the feed in the discovery and look at cars and, and, you know, motorcycles and fishing stuff and surfing stuff and skimboard stuff. And, you know, I, I it, and, and I'm just in there like scrolling and scrolling and scrolling the never ending infinity. And I see that I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do that. And I have an addictive per- personality. So I'm not going to, that's just a waste of time. I'd rather be in the moment with my kids or reading a book or doing something else with my mind than just being vegged out. Right. And so literally what I do, I have boundaries, right? Set boundaries, you know, and, and, and so what I do is I literally post it and then I delete it, you know, and then at the end of the year, I print my, my, um, my whole social media or my whole Instagram, um, feed for the year and use it as a yearbook for my house. Um, so it's a cool tool. I use it as a tool, but a lot of times people don't use it as a tool, right? They're, they're being used. Right. Uh, and so again, again, I just want to bring some light into that Netflix because I feel like it was open ended and they didn't really direct you to a more excellent way. And I think the more excellent way is those things that I mentioned. And so don't be fooled. They do have an agenda, right? They're not just trying to expose social media because they're the good guys. You know, Netflix is are they're in the, they're in the business to make money, right? I know there's a lot of controversy with that film. Um, you know, um, I won't say anything because I don't want this to be flagged, but that film there's controversy and people kind of quit with, you know, watching them and, you know, subscribe, you know, they shut off their subscription. If, if that's the only film that offends you on Netflix, then there's something wrong with you. There's tons of films on Netflix that offends me, me being as a Christian, but I can't demonize them because they, I expect that, right? They're not a Christian company, just like the internet. I'm not going to stop using the internet because there's stuff on the internet that's inappropriate. Right. Um, I'm not going to, you know, stop using a lot of things because it's just inappropriate. Right. And I get it. I, I get it. if they're outwardly really promoting it and they become like a, you know, uh, you know, one of those companies that really push it, then, OK, I'll make a decision to say, OK, I'm not going to subscribe to that anymore. But I think there's many films on there that's that sketch that's inappropriate, that has an agenda to to, to um, enslave uh, men and women into a certain way of thinking. And so, anyways, in closing, don't be fooled. Netflix has an agenda. They want to make money, right? And so, though I, I love the film, it was a great film and exposed a lot, and I think you should get off of social media or have some really extreme boundaries and surely don't give it to your kids. Don't even try to give it to your, not even teenagers. I would even say teenagers need to see it. I mean, MySpace was out when we were growing up, and that created all kinds of issues. And it's nowhere near as well built as it is today, right? And so all that to say, I would recommend you guys get off it or have at least some boundaries because the, the fruit that you get from it, it's so much good. I mean, when I got off of it the way I did, like certain behaviors are gone as far as like irritated or if I'm reading or watching it even. And I used it for to, you know, catch up on some some sound clips of some people who are journalists and stuff. Right. So when my kid comes to me and I'm like, well, I'm watching this, I'm watching this. Right. And so then, you know, I ignore them or say, oh, yeah, give me a minute, give me a minute. Right. And so just the quality of life just suffered for everybody. And so when I got off of it, it was just easy engagement, talking and not being flustered because I'm getting interrupted because I want to hear what happened, right? And so all that to say, there's other ways to get your news. There's other ways to get your information. And even then, it's just hard to even find what's truth anymore. But watch the documentary. I recommend it for sure. But again, everyone has an agenda, right? They're just not trying to add to society. They're trying to make money. So don't be fooled. Don't binge on Netflix. Don't let just find something productive and fruitful in your life to do if you decide to get off of social media. Don't just jump into another entertainment thing that's going to continue to be waste your time and waste your life away. All right. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Hey, share this video. Like this video. I see sometimes I get 200, even sometimes a thousand views and the likes are just very little. Um, but I would like to hear what you guys th- think. Like, Am I even making sense? Dan, you suck. You're not even great at this. You know, what is it? You know, I know people text me. I love seeing that video. Hey, man, that really speak to me. So I know it does help people. And nor do I want to be some influencer or whatever where I get a million views. I'm not trying to 
monetize, right? I mean, we're doing really well with my business. This is more um, to help people and just be a voice to in the rhetoric out there um, to just help people to, to live an abundant life and a better life. And so, you know, do you agree with what I said? Have you watched the film? What do you think? What's your thoughts? Um, and, and share this video. Let me know. I uh, really love to hear feedback from you guys. Aloha.